brother. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. You've got people... Kill my friend. Best get to it. for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Other people just make things complex. Out here, Hearn and I can get everything we need from the occasional traveler. I'd better get going. Well now, what have we here? A lost little lamb. Hmm. Don't say much, but there's a strange aura about you. You walk in the shadow of death. Leave here. Leave here and never return. We really don't want to be over to you.
Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from old Rorik. What's the Yarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe? Is the luck for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. No! We need to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Still here? Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one, as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done.
By the almighty divines. You've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Right then. You prefer to listen, is that it? Well, you must represent the Dark Brotherhood. I certainly wasn't expecting anyone else. So, I'll cut right to the chase. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of... the Emperor. It's a shocking request, I know, but it is inside the purview of what you Dark Brotherhood types do, isn't it? If history is to be believed, you must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now you're here, as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, let me give you these. They are to be delivered to your, um, superior. Rexus! The items. Rexus will now give you two items which must be passed along to your superior. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. You're back. You're joking. What's this? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Uh -huh. History. He can be trusted.
oblivion with all of you. Of course. better now that Grella was dead, but still... This war has... Why, yes. Yes, of course. First, I'll need... Your name? What do you do for a living? What? If you aren't going to be... Wait. Sure, you're serious. Well, I... All right, then. Where will your child be living? Very well. That's all I need from you. Congratulations. I think you'll make an excellent parent. Go meet the children and decide who you'd like to adopt. Go on, speak to the children. Pick me! Pick me! Really? Are you... Are you sure? Yay! Thanks, Mr. Um... Papa. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. I don't know, Trot. Someone there. Gonna... No! Ah! I'll have your uh! ah!
should have come down. <laughs> The rat way. Well, it had. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, now, how is Astrid doing these days, huh? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, oh, but we can discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member who have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business, but if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Buy it. This. An Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. No risk, no reward. That's the way it goes, so you better get used to it. Now, if you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. I'll be here when you're done. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. 
It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Your target's name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go and give the City of Solitude a celebration they're not likely to forget. Represent us well, brother. City of Mark, where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you're... Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Sorry, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! Get on with it! You've been told me! Rogvia, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he heard his hiding story. Typical Imperial Rome. You speak of Skyrim like you know the land. You know its people. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. I'm just here to nothing. provide protection for His Eminence's cousin. Oh, Please, I know enough. Please, enjoy yourself. I know those trees. I'm so glad you Dory and asked you chose a public
of both love and political. What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm... I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness... for me. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hail the Imperial Legion. Hail the Stormcloaks. Hail Solitude and the Eight Divines. On this glorious day, we honor everyone! <laughs> Please, enjoy yourself. This is my boy, this is the kind of tradition. I want Outside, and not through mountain air. They s- No, I'm not having a good time. My boy just married a God's forsaken Imperial. Skyrim is full of eager Nord women, and he beds down with the enemy. Imperial bastard. All these guests. My husband Aesgear and I thank you for coming to our reception. We thank you for ship the love we have for each other. Today the problems are <laughs> Victoria! No! The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! Need a ride? Where do you want to go? <sighs> Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, steady old. Damn Stormcloak rebels. Did you see a dog out there? Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. 
Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithus. Once he's dead, Plant the incriminating letter on his body, and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of sin. Thanks. Papa! Wow, really? What do you... 